Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. From getting a domain to building and designing beautiful websites with award-winning portfolio designs, online portfolios, web shops, and managing your email campaigns, you can easily do it all in one place with Squarespace. If you're ready to start with your creative business or portfolio online, you can use the first link on this video's description as we're giving you a two week free trial. And once you're ready to launch, you can use the code Caro Arevalo to get 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain with Squarespace. My creativity knows truth lies on the surrender on letting the co-creation with spirit come through, on flowing from a clear vessel. I am the vessel and my only job is to clean myself from fear, doubt, and commit to the flow fully, to the curiosity, the co-creation, the mystery. My creativity knows that art made that way heals, it transforms, It inspires, it flows with the rhythms from our hearts. It knows it heals the art maker and the observer. My creativity knows paintings are prayers, art spaces are altars, artists are devotees, and great spirit is a co-creator. My creativity knows art is truth, It's poems, it's a safe space, it's nature. It's a form of a mirror, a transmuter of freedom. My creative expression is hungry for time and space to go within, to explore the newness of what is ready to manifest, to deepen my visual language and co-create with a universal force. My creative expression is hungry for me to be fully devoted to it. No deadlines, just full drop in to the love making that is art making. In order for me to drop in, I've been clearing my vessel, getting rid of all scattered thoughts, stagnant energies and distractions falling back in love with the communication with the unknown, the unspoken, and the mystery from which creativity comes from. My creative expression is hungry to reawaken the communication with the universe, that force which possesses me in the art-making process, with the one we dance and together co-create new paintings. I feel connected to my higher purpose when I get involved in those practices that make my heart sing. I feel connected to my higher purpose when I let go of fear and self-doubt and I surrender to the flow of love. I feel connected to my higher purpose when I paint and when I paint in connection to great spirit. I feel connected to my higher purpose when I listen to the plants, to the mushrooms, to my heart. I've been journaling a lot and I've been really thinking a lot about what does my connection with creativity mean for me? What is this mystic, mysterious, amazing connection that has made me surrender my whole life into painting, into creativity. And this has been so far the best way that I've found to describe what this connection means to me and why I feel the creative force is so important, whether for everyone, you know, whether you want to be or you are a full-time artist, fully devoted to your creativity, if you have a craft that you make like painting or drawing or sewing or cooking, or if you have, you're like part-time creating, part-time committing to another job, 
or whether you just like to be creative on the weekends. I feel that our whole life within themselves are a creative expression. And I've been diving deep into this connection with creativity for the longest time. And I really wanted to share this with you because I feel that I talk a lot about our connection with creativity and nature. And I feel that they are not apart from one another. They are not separate from one another. And I feel that we, I know that we are nature. We are another expression of nature, just like this polka beonia is, just like this other plant is. We are also another little piece of the creativity of the world. And I feel that as nature ourselves, whenever we spend more time surrounded by nature and connecting to our own natural creative rhythms, I feel that slowly while doing that is that creativity starts reawakening within ourselves. This morning I was out for a little while. Spring is slowly coming to the Hudson Valley where I live and I was doing my morning gratitude giving where I give thanks to the elements of nature and to my ancestors, etc. And I've shared my gratitude giving here before. But while giving thanks to the waters, I was thinking about the water carries the spirit of fertility and fertility doesn't necessarily mean giving birth to another human being and being pregnant. And I've been thinking a lot about fertility as another way in the one we birth creative things. And while giving thanks and thinking about fertility and the essence of the waters, I was looking at all the plants that are surrounding me here. A month ago, they, all the trees and all the plants were dead or what seemed like that all the trees were leafless and now it's so lushy and green and all the flowers are out and that is fertility that is fertility and at the same time that is another creative expression of the natural world and i i just wanted to share this video because i feel that connecting with our own nature and the nature that is surrounding us is such a key part for us to start reconnecting to that creative energy that I feel we all carry from the inside. It's like, like Ram Dass says, there's this beautiful 12 minute meditation by Ram Dass and East Forest and John Hopkins where one of the parts talks about each one of us carrying this fire within and this fire within illuminates others and it also carries so much warmth and can make us warm as well as make other people feel warm and safe and at the same time it can be contagious when each one of us is connected to their own flow to their own creativity and their own fire then this becomes like contagious right like just like literal fire when fire starts in a small place and then it becomes so huge because it's like sparkling or being contagious. <laughs> My English is not working today. From one being to the other, from one tree to the other. And sometimes our fire within feels like a small little amber. Sometimes we even don't feel that fire coming from within. And I feel that slowly, just like this from Das meditation says, we start taking care of that fire. And while we start taking care of this little amber, then a small flame comes and then until it becomes a forest fire. So I've just been thinking a lot about the role that creativity plays, not only in my life, but I feel that in every single living being's life, just like this fertility moment that is spring, I am thinking a lot on what is it that we are birthing all the time? What are our creative ways of being all the time? And I don't mean only like doing ceramics or doing painting. I mean like everything that we do, how we speak to ourselves, how we manage our day, how we start our morning routines, how we love to 
share love with the beings that we love in this planet. Like what is our love language? I feel all of that are ways of being creative. And I wanted to share this. I've been keeping so many journals lately and I feel this practice of doing morning pages has been so, so helpful for me to just, you know, I didn't think any of this, it was just like, it came through. And I feel that a lot of the ways that we, and whatever is going within our bodies, sometimes we cannot find the words thinking about them. But if we are in the constant flow of writing or the constant flow of painting, then things that we didn't even know we had inside of us start blooming and, and you know, spilling out of ourselves. and. I loved how after reading this, it made so much sense to me of, yes, I, I feel that the creativity is not only coming from my bones, from my soul, it's the co-creation with the universe, right? With great spirit or with the plants or the mushrooms or all the beings that are around and within us. And I've been just giving it a lot of appreciation of I feel our role as vessels is that is to get rid of the fear, get rid of that like inner critic that sometimes can be so punishing towards ourselves and can be like, no, you're not good enough to to give your gift yourself time to explore creativity, or you are not enough, so you shouldn't uh, share your art with others or your words. And I feel that that is so far away from the truth because each one of us carries a different medicine and each one of us is so unique that whatever I paint is not what you would paint. And that's why it's so beautiful when we get to witness the creativity of other beings because we would never be capable of creating the exact same thing. Like our inner body w wouldn't have birthed the same thing, even if we were observing the same model, like a plant or a landscape or a human or whatever it is, we all have our own ways. And I feel it's, isn't that so magical that each one of us can create one specific unique type of artwork. And if there's one thing that you take from this video is to explore your creativity outside from the social media strategies, outside from whether that creation will be sold or not, outside of a libre mercado, outside of capitalism and just you and this relationship that happens in between our own creation, our own rhythms, our own creativity and the natural world, which we are a part of. And yeah, if there's one thing that I wanted to share is that is that I feel creativity is the closest thing that we have in this world to magic and creativity, including the natural world. So why not explore that, right? It's something that we all carry within us for free in this world. and. I just feel creativity for me is my muse, is my reason for being alive and what I want to explore the most within this time around this lifetime on planet Earth. And I, you know, I also need this reminder so many times because I can get very heady about like, yeah, you cannot just paint all day because how are you going to pay rent, you know, like, so I tend to get very into the business side of things sometimes, but I'm writing these morning pages has been such a beautiful invitation to like get out of that, like, no, 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 it needs to be work. It needs to be for this specific thing. So I, I just share this because it's also a reminder for myself of Caro, just paint for the sakes of painting and cook for the sakes of cooking. And I feel that this, change of seasons has been such a beautiful opportunity and also navigating Ayurveda and navigating my Candida have been such beautiful invitations of slowing down and focusing more on doing everything with more intention slowly and I will start rambling so <laughs> I can just talk about this forever. So I just wanted to share this in today's video. I would love to hear what is your current relationship with creativity? How are you navigating this beautiful expression of life, of 
fertility that we all get to explore. And as I was saying earlier, not fertility as in having babies, but as in having creative babies all within our life, our everyday today life. We're always gestating and giving birth to projects, even if it's just for ourselves, especially if it's just for ourselves. How beautiful that we get to create something that is just for you and your journal and your words and your exploration of what are we even doing in this flying rock in space, all alive, sharing love. It's crazy, wild, beautiful. Um, so thank you for hearing me rumble for a little while. <laughs> I would love to hear what's your current relationship with creativity. If you're navigating one of those beautiful moments where everything's flowing and you're just creating and just dating and giving birth to all the projects, or if it's more of a time to just go within and not put stuff out in the world and be more in the inside or maybe creative blockage is real for you right now. I, I feel we have these spaces in order to share more of what is it that we're going through and support one another and be that flame, that little forest fire that starts with one person that is inspiring the other. So I hope this was a little inspiring. Thank you for sharing your time with me here on this virtual space. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this channel and for making me capable of rambling about creativity. If you like what you see here, feel free to give this video a thumbs up or a comment or share it with someone that you love. That would be super helpful so the algorithm stops punishing me. Um, you're also welcome to subscribe to this channel if you like what you see here. And if not, you're welcome not to subscribe. I anyhow just wish you a beautiful rest of your day and I hope you get to connect a little to your creativity and to nature today. Bye.